Hey everyone, and welcome to a very quick Planet Zoo update video. It's time for the 1.12 update coming the 13th of December. Now, why is that important? Well, actually, because this is always the news before a DLC drop, which uh, we can expect in the coming days, maybe tomorrow, maybe next week. Frontier just did change their way of doing this slightly, so I'm not very sure. But this thing could be named, as uh, Mr. Dommel said, could be named uh, Sponsored by Rudy Rencamel. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. But uh, we got some cool news about three new things, and I'm very uh, hopeful that there's even more coming. Um, I have certain things in mind to why this seems to be a bit of a smaller update. More about that in a second. But let's go, first of all, through the three main changes. Let's start with the big thing, actually, and this is guided tours. Ever since we got the educator in-game with the uh, education points, um, we were asking for this feature. Now, um, obviously, people thought about, you know, can we connect the educator point so that people at least can go from A to B or whatnot? And now we do have something even cooler. We have an actual tour. And this is given time to treat a guest the VIP treatment with the new guided tours. Guide tours are a brand new way to offer guests more in-depth information about your zoo and your exhibits. Tours are personal and will be conducted by an educator. They will then guide your guests through the zoo and educate them with lots of wonderful facts about your animals as well as life at the zoo. Guided tours are also completely custom Customizable, which means you will be able to plan out your guest journey through the park by placing tour points at a desired destination. I cannot believe how great that is. That's going to be a massive improvement um, in terms of guest flow and, and just in general tours. You know, you can even make backstage tours. How cool is that? Um, so yeah, it's insane and I can't really wait to, to play around with it. It's yet another feature that will make um, this whole experience so much more um, emotional and cool. Next thing is, and yeah, I, I really thought I'm dreaming, not because that's sky high uh, in the clouds and, you know, I'm thinking of heaven or something. No, this is my name there. Look look at that. There, there is my name and I'm even, it's even linked to my channel. I cannot believe how cool that is. Um, <laughs> we have an actual diorama mode. Can you believe this happened? Like a year ago or something, I just kind of did this trend, which I don't know why it just blew up that much, but here we are. This is it. We have an actual new sandbox mode terrain type that is giving us a sky high uh, diorama mode. How cool is that? I mean, this is just, I, yeah, I just, I can't. It's cool. You even have the chance to upload this as a diorama build in this terrain map and ah, it's just really cool to have like a personal note from me in the game, which I cannot believe, and I'm super happy that this happened. Like, oh gosh, it's so good. And the third thing is um, that, you know, we've got a bulldozer tool, um, which seems small, but I think it's a big one. Um, because it, it just can use things like scenery, path, and objects in your park. And I really hope it also, you know, um, has the benches and stuff included. Because that's always a pain. Like, you delete path and stuff, and benches and bins are not scenery objects, so you can't just select them all. And there you go. So really, really cool um, to make this and really good. Um, as always, these exciting new features in Update 1.2 come with various fixes and quality live editions, which will be included in full patch notes. We have more news for you soon, but then blah, we have a live stream tonight, which I, unfortunately I can't be there, but you guys will be in about an hour from when this video is live. You'll be able to see that. Now, um, there is a good reason to why I think this is a bit of a smaller one. Actually, there are two reasons. I think the, the first reason um, is very simple. The, the time frame between the two updates is the, the shortest we ever had. Um, the uh, last DLC and free update launched three of maybe even three and a half weeks later than the the one did one year before and this one is going to launch a couple days earlier than the last year's Christmas update launch I think it was the 17th or something so overall we have nearly a month less time in between both updates this said um, I think this is one part of the reason and the second reason or the second part of the reason is I have a feeling that maybe some of the other things that we'll get in here are potentially a bit of a bigger hint to the DLC this time. And no, I'm in particular I'm not hinting at, uh, you know, at, at birds or at full aquatic or anything. It can be something completely different. I'm just like, I have the feeling there's maybe one or two features that would clearly give us a clue on what DLC. But this time around, Frontier again managed to have no leaks or whatever, so no one has a clue. 
include me included what the next DLC is about and I'm really I'm really sitting here waiting to get the the you know the spicy in for what it is um, and I'm very happy that they did it this way so we can't read anything out of it you know guided tours bulldozer that there's no info in here um i even did something let me just quickly open the full resolution images um i did a little bit of a research if i can find anything in these things that is new <clears throat> like a new scenery item or something like that but i'm uh, i'm very very sure well let me just like zoom that in as well uh, i'm very sure that there isn't anything like i even tried to zoom in here but you know the plants and stuff look everything looks very familiar to me very familiar to my eye um very nice area by the way here for the pandas i love how it just like is staged here to sit there love it um and then you know also with this thing this is pretty much all in uh, we've got this dude with a spider shirt and i have absolutely no clue if that's in or not but as we have spiders this is also nothing special um you know they sneak in new clothing every now and then still no winter clothing though but uh yeah i just really have no clue if this is new or not but um yeah as said um in particular i think it's the, the reason why there's nothing more in here is to you know hide away some infos for a potential dlc until then i really hope you guys enjoyed this start the speculation about the dlc in the comments down below let me know what you guys want what you guys think it is uh, and then we will see in the next coming day days who of you guys um was closest you know let's see but yeah man i am in here man and woman and people of the world i have my own game mode so to say in in planet zoo and i can't say how happy i am about this thank you so so much for watching this video guys if you didn't enjoy and enjoy all the content and all the stuff consider subscribing please because that helps me out growing the channel you know the drill everything the same um yeah have a good time talk to you very soon i assume and uh, have a wonderful weekend